Restaurant Philipsthal is located in this old 19th century farmhouse. Chef Guido Kachel opened it two and a half years ago. Hello, welcome to Philipsthal. In Brandenburg, we're celebrating Easter time and also asparagus season. The chef gets his asparagus from the nearby fields tilled by organic farmer Roderich Ehlers. He grows both green and white asparagus. The white variety is shielded from sunlight and grows underneath plastic sheets. As soon as it sprouts, it's harvested to ensure it maintains its white color. Local asparagus is firmly rooted in this region. It belongs here, on this land, this soil, to this sandy soil. And we only get asparagus once a year. After a few days in the sun, green asparagus first turns violet and then green. It has a more delicate, nuttier flavor. Harvesting of both varieties begins in mid-April in Brandenburg. Here's our green asparagus, freshly picked. A short time later, most of the time on the very same day, it ends up on a plate in my restaurant. Today we're preparing an Easter dish. It's a springtime specialty that fits with Easter. And we're cooking risotto with green asparagus and wild garlic with a saddle of rabbit from the Bailitz region. Let's get started. Finally dice a shallot for the risotto and saute it in oil. Then add the rice and fry it. Add either asparagus or vegetable stock with a bit of white wine and stir. The risotto should simmer for about 18 minutes, during which the chef must continue adding stock. You want it partly covered to keep enough liquid in there so it cooks slowly. Now the asparagus. In terms of quality and taste, white asparagus is fine. We're using the green asparagus because we like it better and it's more attractive. Green asparagus has to be peeled carefully. It's best to start at the top, beneath the tip, and work downward. The 40-year-old chef always breaks off the ends by hand. Always snap off the ends, never cut them. Cutting them can make the dish bitter, and breaking ensures you don't have any woody stalks either. Then cut the asparagus in pieces, cut the tips lengthwise in half, and saute them. Add a pinch or two of sugar, a dash of chili, and... A bit of salt. Stir it into the risotto. Now it's time to add the wild garlic, a leafy herb that grows in spring. It's in Guido Kachel's vegetable garden. The leaves smell like a cross between onion and garlic. Yeah, it's fresh, all right. He finely chops the wild garlic and mixes it into the risotto. Then he grates in a bit of Parmesan cheese and adds a few diced cocktail tomatoes as well. We'll have asparagus risotto on the menu for Easter, but won't serve it with the saddle of rabbit. Instead, it'll be fish, probably salmon trout. That goes well with it. You can serve this risotto with almost anything. Today we've picked rabbit, because it fits the season. The meat is light, it's very nice white meat. Kachel separates the meat from the bone and briefly browns the fillets in oil. Then it's time to add the condiments, including salt and pepper, rosemary and a bay leaf, and it's done. The risotto and the strips of meat are garnished with a flower of wild garlic. And it's done, a light, fresh Easter meal with risotto, green asparagus, rabbit and fresh wild garlic. He recommends eating it with a German Chardonnay. Guests at Guido Kachel's table get acquainted with the true, enjoyable cuisine of Brandenburg.